Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. A lot of comments talking about how they want to see the F-22 versus the J-20. And, you know, we've already done this fight once, but a lot of people wanted a rematch. They thought it might play out differently, and that's fine. I'm happy to do that. Uh, in an effort to keep this, you know, realistic, as, as realistic as possible, <laughs> let's say, uh, we have a Patriot site over here supporting the F-22. So if things get hairy, I can fall back to there. And the J-20 has the S-300 system who's going to support him as well. So time and time again, I see the comment that insinuates that stealth means that you can never be seen and you can never be locked or anything like that. Uh, the fact is that stealth just means that you can be identified or seen later. It also maybe creates uh, problems for targeting solutions and weapon solutions and, and things of that nature. It obviously does not mean that your aircraft is invisible entirely or that you can't be locked, right? Now, the situation here is such that even if the J-20 can see me, uh, what's going to happen is... Uh, by the way, I don't see him on radar yet. Uh, if he does see me, uh, he can fire his missile, and that's great. He might be able to, let's just pretend his radar can hold a lock the entire time. He can guide that PL-12 or PL-15, whatever he's going to shoot, all the way until Pitbull, and that missile is going to go active, just like the AMRAAM would. And when it goes active... Uh, it's going to depend on its own seeker, which is really where I may be able to use the stealth in order to defeat the seeker of that missile. So really the missile technology is as important as the aircraft's technology when it comes to hitting something like an F-22. And vice versa, the F-22 is going to be depending very heavily on the AMRAAM seeker in order to find and kill the J-20. Uh, still don't have this guy on radar, by the way. Uh, I'm scanning all the different altitudes here. Scanning low. I know he's off in front of me. I am getting the RWR spikes from him, but I don't see him. Oh, there he is. I wasn't looking out far enough. Hold on, I'll find him right here. There he is, got him. At 16,000 feet. About uh, 42 miles. And I'm going to go ahead and shoot a Fox 3 at him. There it goes. Now that AMRAM is theoretically outside of range, but, and you know, with his own stealth technology and all that stuff, he should be able to defeat that AMRAM. I just kind of shot that because I want to throw him off his game a little bit. I think it'll be interesting for him to realize that he's been locked from 42 miles. I probably could have had him at 50 or 60 miles with the F-22, quite honestly. I wasn't looking out far enough at the beginning. Um, but to be shot at from that distance, it really puts you off your game, you know? Here he is now locking me as well. And I'm actually going to re-engage here. We're still holding a lock on him at 26 miles. I'm going to shoot another one at him momentarily here. So we get a little closer. 23 miles now. Okay, there's a Fox 3 from me. And he shot at me as well. We're going to defend here. We're going to be cold here. I'm just going to reduce altitude. That's once again dragging the missile into denser air. That'll bleed off energy and all that stuff. And then hopefully the stealth of the F-22 will help me actually defeat the seeker head of that PL-12 or PL-15. We're going to assume it's a PL-15. You always assume worst case scenario in this kind of situation. Now, if you guys have noticed, we're actually flying the mirror camo for the F-22, or polished metal that they may have put on it. Uh, there's a lot of speculation as to what this is. It is a real thing. There is an F-22 out there that is, uh, does have this coating on it. And there's a lot of, you know, speculation as to what it is. And obviously, it's all speculation. 
but I've heard some interesting theories that it's testing some sort of advanced infrared sensor and even it's possible that it's working, that they are testing low power laser systems and their targeting capabilities against a mirrored target, which is actually very interesting when you think of it. And, you know, it might tell you a lot about future weapon systems and capabilities or at least what everybody's working towards. I got this J-20 locked up at about 22 miles now. He's tracking me as well. Okay, he shot at me, so Fox 3, and we'll defend here. Alright, how cool would it be to have an F-22 that is like shooting a laser? <laughs> just the bay opens up and this, you know, I don't know, gun comes out, just shoots a laser beam, destroys the incoming missile. You know, and then targets the other aircraft and shoots it with a laser. It's pretty crazy. It really would be a massive jump in technology. Um, massive one. One that I think would give any country who developed it uh, massive advantages over the other for maybe decades. Decades to come. Um, Alright, so pretty good. I don't have any missiles chasing me, so I actually feel pretty good. We're going to recommit here vertically. Recommitting vertically like this, it's going to allow me to convert my speed or kinetic energy into gravitational potential as we climb. It's going to allow me to launch missiles in less dense air, which means increased range. And he's up here at 11,000 feet, which is kind of the same altitude as me, so he's doing something very similar to me. I'm going to continue to climb even higher, try to give myself whatever advantage is possible. And I'm really taking a bet that the AMRAAM Seeker head is going to perform better for me than the PL-12 or PL-15 Seeker that he has. Really depending on that. Okay, Fox 3 and we'll defend and it looks like he shot at me too. Okay, that missile launch was at about 15 miles, somewhat dangerous, so I'm going to go ahead and defend here. You can see the S-300 and the S-400 side are not really, and sorry, the Patriot side are not really shooting at me or at him, it seems like. Um, the stealth from both aircraft is definitely uh, reducing their capability to engage them. Now, the one thing that, you know, is sort of in question is the stealth capability of the J-20. Of course, the Chinese say that it is very stealthy. Uh, continuing to defend this missile because it still sees me apparently um, but it still sees me actually wow the Indians have said that they have found J-20s off their coast they picked them up on radar but again picking up a stealth aircraft and using you know getting a targeting solution or a fire solution on it are two very different things uh, I'm gonna go ahead and recommit here PL-12 is actually doing a fantastic job maintaining lock, although I think I just lost it. Very surprising to see that missile hold lock that long. PL-15, PL-12, whatever that was. And I've got him at about 14,000 feet here. And we'll go ahead and climb. He's 21 miles. We're going to try to get a little bit closer to him as I climb here. And you'll see that circle on my HUD getting bigger there. That's probability of kill increasing. And here we are at about 15 miles, Fox 3. And we'll defend. We'll defend here, 13 miles. I need to get a little bit closer to him. I have one more AMRAM remaining. As we defend here. Now if he shot at me, uh, it didn't track at all. My RWR doesn't hear anything. Uh, I have no missile launch on me, so either he didn't shoot, didn't manage to shoot, was forced defensive by that AMRAAM, or his missile didn't track at all, which is just as bad. If you, you know, if your missile doesn't track and the other guy is able to push you like this, like I'm about to do here, it's very dangerous for you. So you see, even an aircraft's capability, how, however amazing it is, it does at a certain point come down to how good your missiles are. 
right? You could be the most advanced, I don't know, spaceship, but if your missile can't hit the other guy, you know, what good is that? I got him on radar here. He's flanking at 18 miles. And I'm gonna go ahead and push him. He looks like he's trying to hang around that island so he can maybe mask there if he needs to. But I think he's a little bit forward and if you look on the radar you can see he's like pointed towards me. So he's about to come here. It's 12 miles out and he's nose hot. Which means he's probably gonna shoot a missile at me here. He's locking me at 10 miles. He shot at me. Fox 3 for me. And we're gonna go ahead and defend here at like 6 miles. Which is extremely dangerous, so I'm really depending on my stealth to save me from that incoming missile. Got a missile on my six here. Uh, I didn't see the missile, so I don't... Oh, something hit behind me. Something splashed in the water over here. Something splashed in the water over there. He might have fired more than one missile. I have no idea. But something definitely died over there. 